Hey guys, welcome back to Jarvis and Audio Solutions. So we're going to move straight forward into the next video. Uh, we just did a video of creating HTTP certificates uh, for the last search nodes. And so now we're going to go ahead and jump down to the next part of this. I'll get down to the title of it, which is Encrypt HTTP Client Communications for Kibana. So I'm going to jump back to my first lab scene that we were uh, I was just in the previous video. And then we're going to just jump straight for it. Let's see if this Oh, I'm going to reconnect. I forgot my firewall rebooted. That's fine. All right. And make sure that uh, all your servers are up to date. Um, and if you're a Linux person, you already know to use the app Git, but uh, make sure it's updated before you continue on. Anywho, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. So I'm sudo. And then I'm going to jump straight over to this. And so uh, essentially, scroll up a little bit. Sorry, we already did that. Okay. So essentially what we're going to do is go back to that user share uh, Elasticsearch directory. So let's go ahead and do a CD user share Elasticsearch. And then we created this directory right here a moment ago and then also the Kibana. So we're going to go into the Kibana now. So do CD Kibana and then let's do a LS tag LAH. And then we're going to see in here that we have uh, this PIM file. And so this PIM file is going to get put under the Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch directory. And also, whenever we go into the next video of uh, doing security for the beats, this is the same PIM file is going to go into those beat directories as well. So let's go ahead and do cp elasticsearch.pim, and then we're going to throw that into the Elasticsearch, not Elasticsearch, I'm sorry, the Kibana directory. There we go. All right, so that's copied over there. And that's basically telling it, saying to do what I just did. And then we're also going to add this line to our Kibana YAML file. So let's go ahead and grab that. Copy, and then we're going to go nano etsy kibana kibana.yaml. And then I'm going to skip down to the bottom. And all the stuff you're seeing right here is from previous videos. All right. And what do you know? It's already there because I already did that in a previous video. But anyway, so I'm going to backspace it and put it back in there just so I, I can say I did it on the video. Bam. There it is. So this is what it's going to look like. Make sure that you uh, change this kibana path comp to the actual folder path to so Etsy Kibana or forward slash Kibana okay you know do a control O on that and then also you're gonna go and I've already again sorry that I've already done this I forgot to go back and fix it but originally all of these guys on this line right here is gonna they're gonna say HTTPS you need to go go in here and make sure you add that S on there because now Kibana is reaching out to Elasticsearch on HTTPS not HTTP all right, so just remember that going forward. So uh, in this instance, I have three nodes, so I need to have each the IP of each node going over port 9200, uh, so it can reach in and grab that, uh, grab all those logs for the uh, visualizations. Okay, and then this is a little bit beyond the scope of the video, but for redundancy, I, I had a server go down uh, about two weeks ago and lost some things, and so I rebuilt some of my stuff, and essentially. I had Kibana running on one node, just one one virtual machine basically. And since that VM died, I lost my Kibana and therefore I lost all the certificates, the CA, all that stuff went with it. And so I ended up having to rebuild it all. And so uh, now what I did is I basically took it, I, I installed Kibana on all three nodes. So all three nodes are communicating with uh, Kibana and with Elasticsearch. So if one node dies, then another node can pick it up and we're good to go. Uh, so I might do that in a later video just to show you how it's done, but for now we're gonna stick to this. All right, so I'm gonna uh, so all that's HTTPS, and then let's re-verify. Just just confirm in case you might have missed it. We put this line right here and there. Okay. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is scroll down, and it says it says uh, restart Kibana. So I'm just gonna go ahead and Control O it, and then do that, and then do uh, System CTL restart Kibana and I may not have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right, so that's done. All right, it says, uh, and then go down to the next part of it, which is says encrypt traffic between your web, uh, your browser and Kibana. So now we're going to do a scroll down, and essentially what we're doing is we're we're, we're creating a certificate signing request, um, and we're naming off our Kibana server along with its FQDN. So essentially, uh, whenever if you download the certificate. And you put it on the Kibana instance, and then you create a certificate for your uh, 
I guess your PC then you can download that certificate and install it to your Windows PC and then it will encrypt traffic between your browser and the actual Keybind instance so that, that's what we're doing here so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and grab this uh, line right here and hit copy now keep in mind I'm not going to actually uh, use that I'm going to change that around a little bit so let's go and do CD go back to our last search uh, parent directory and then we're going to go CD bin and now I'm going to do forward slash paste that in there so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually backspace this so this is going to be lab tech seam tech one dot jowers tech lab dot local and then our host name is actually going to be lab seam one all right and so I want to make sure I looked at that correctly everything's good all right so let's go ahead and hit enter on that and that's going to generate two things that's going to generate a certificate and it's going to generate a key all right and it's going to say hey do you want to save this file we'll go ahead and save it in there and so let's do cd dot dot to go to our last search directory do ls and you see that little uh red zip file right there that says csr dot bundle so we're going to go ahead and unzip that All right, so now let's do ls. I need to alias that, but I haven't done it yet. So right here, you see this lab scene one. That's what we just generated. So if you have something different that has a server that has a different name or an instance, instance that has a different name, make sure you follow that correspondingly. So let's go ahead and do cd lab, uh, let's see here, lab, and then do ls, tech LAH to see it. Okay, so right here, you have your certificate signing request, and then you have your key. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do move. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to copy it. We're not going to move it. Let's do copy. We're going to copy that key to your uh, Elasticsearch, or I'm sorry, your Kibana directory. So that's there now. So now we don't have to worry about the key anymore. So what we're going to have to do with the uh, CSR is we're going to have to pull it to us, and then we're going to, or or if you if you, there's some other way to transfer that file. So I'm doing it with uh, OpenSense. I'm going to have OpenSense sign the request. And then I'm going to pull down a certificate and I'm going to plug it in back into the server. And I'm going to do that really quick. And I'm going to use, a, I might have to go download TerraTerm. Unless it's already on here. Yep, it's not on here. So let me go download TerraTerm because I can do it easier that way. Bear with me just a moment. TerraTerm is just another SSH client and I found it easier to do uh, SSH copying with that whenever you have a Windows client involved. It's loading, it's trying to load, there it goes. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and run that, and then I can exit out of this tab. Yes, we're gonna let it run. All right, we're gonna go ahead and launch. All right, so we're going to do 192.168.57.70. All right, so we're going to log into it just like we did with uh, Remote NG. All right, then we're going to go ahead and do sudo su, and then we're going to do the password again. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to copy you can do it either way. I'm going to copy the uh, actual key, I'm sorry, the CSR to my home directory so I have permissions to copy it. So I'm going to do user share, Elasticsearch, Kibana, and oh, wrong one actually, sorry. So we're going to go lab, which is the name I just uh, created, and then we have our C, okay, CSR. So we're going to do lab. CSR and then we're going to copy that to my home directory. So I know that white's hard to read a little bit. Anyway, we copied that. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this name. I'm going to come up here to the uh, secure, or I'm sorry, SSH SCP. And I'm going to paste that in there. And I already know where it is. So we're going to do home and then Dylan and then another forward slash. And make sure I'm going to copy this to my actual desktop.
I'm going to hit receive. And then now that's going to allow me to come over here to my desktop. And I'm going to hit edit with the notepad. That's going to open up the actual, that we got, that's what we want. So I'm going to take this and copy it. I'm going to go to my firewall and then I'm going to do add a certificate. And I'm going to do uh, sign a request. And this is going to be lab attack scene tech one. And I'm going to paste the CSR in there. Next. And then this is the important part with uh, with this piece of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do key usage, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the full help on the firewall, so that way I can tell what I need to. So it says practical example: server certificate is going to have digital signature and key encipherment. So let's go ahead and do digital signature and key encipherment. And then for the extended key usage, it's got server auth and Ike uh, intermediate. So let's do ser uh, server auth and Ike intermediate. Then we're going to hit save. And then there it is. That's our beautiful new certificate. So let's download that. That's going to download that to our downloads folder. All right. So now we can just skip, hop, skip, and jump back to this. And then we're going to essentially do file, SSH, SCP. And then we're going to hone in on that, which is under the downloads folder. There it is. We're going to do open. And then we're going to send this back to our home directory, which is home Dylan. Send it. And now we can get away from all this. You can disconnect that if you want to. But then I'm going to do ls home Dylan. And there, well, I actually have a few things in there. <laughs> but uh, we have the, uh, we're looking for the lab scene of one dot search. So we're going to do uh, ls tech lah and that, it oh, Wrong directory, my bad. I need to actually move to that directory. LS tag LAH. And so we see that our uh, cert is owned by Dylan. We're going to change that. We're going to make it chone root and then we'll make it lab cert. And then we're going to do change group root lab cert. All right, good to go there. And then that should be readable by everybody, which it is. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move that uh, that new certificate to Kibana. Bam. There we go. All right. So now let's jump back to the actual setup page. So we got all that, and then we sent the CSR to our CA. We signed it. We got our new certificate out, and we're going to open up Kibana. So we're back to where we're still on our first node. Do nano. Etsy, oh, that's not the correct folder. Etsy, Kibana, I can type right there. We go, Kibana, Kibana, dot YAML, and I want to hop, skip, and jump down to the bottom. That's what a southerner say, hop, skip, and jump. All right, copy that down, and then we're gonna go in here. We're gonna again, we're gonna change this path. So you want to make sure you're targeting the correct path. To the certificate and to the key and there's one thing that always almost always trips me up and that is we we made the certificate for lab scene one but here we see it's kibana server so we want to change this to the name of our actual host if you made it that way All right, so I'm going to do control O and there's actually one more piece to this. We need to go ahead and throw this in there so that it actually enables TLS inbound. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there and write it as well. Control O to write. All right, so go back and make sure we didn't miss anything. And the reason why this is this way is that since I've already wrote it, I'll go ahead and show you. So LS, tag LAH, Etsy Kibana. You see right here that it's lab seam, certain lab seam key. So just make sure you keep that in mind whenever you're going through these steps. All right, so next, all that's good. And so we're just going to go ahead and do a restart. So system CTL, restart, Ibana. All right, so let's go over to our stack monitoring. 
So all this is red right now because we have not properly set up the beats just yet. We'll get there, but we're not quite there. But anyway, so what you want to make sure of is that you're still able to get to your Kibana. And right now it just failed. <laughs> and uh, in case you don't know why it failed, it's because this is not using HTTPS. So once you do these steps, once you get to this point on um, this guy, it actually has a little note down here that says you have to use HTTPS and not HTTP. So once you get to that point, I'm going to do HTTPS, colon forward slash forward slash, enter. It might take it a moment to come up because I just restarted uh, Kibana, so it might need to give it a moment. There it is. Okay, so now it's using HTTPS right there in the top, and we're going to go advanced, and then accept risk and continue. And then, of course, it's going to say not ready yet, but give, give it just a moment, and it'll be ready. And then I've got my... Uh, Password is already sitting here, so this is what you should have generated whenever you did the minimal security. So basically, I'll copy this, and then once it decides to, there it goes. I may not ask for the password again. It might be cached. Yeah, it's cached. All right, so back, we're back in here already. And again, if you go down to the stack management or stack monitoring, rather, it's not going to be there yet. All this stuff is. We'll have to come back and configure all that. But anyway, guys. You've gotten to this point, so the next one in the next video we'll do configure beat security. Anyway, step by step process. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and upload this video right behind the one I just did, and then we're gonna continue on. But thanks, guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks.